So, welcome YouTubers to the unboxing of the not latest Chromebook. The latest Chromebook is the Google Chromebook Pixel. This is the second latest, the Hewlett Packard Pavilion, Pavilion 14-C010US, which is a mouthful of a model name, but hopefully it will be a good Chromebook. Uh, everybody's talking about the Chromebook Pixel, nobody's talking about this guy anymore. I noticed there was no YouTube, no unboxing videos on YouTube, so I figured I would make one for fun. This is extremely casual, never done one before. If you don't like it, rather than bashing it, make a better one. Okay, as you can see, ordered it from Office Depot and it's currently out of stock on HP's website. It was two day delivery. It actually came at like 9.30 in the morning, two days after I ordered it, which was good. Uh, $330, it has a dual core Intel Celeron 847, running at 1.1 megahertz, gigahertz, sorry. It has two gigabytes of RAM, however, that is upgradable to four gigabytes. Um, 16 gigabyte solid state storage drive, which gives you basically instant on and instant off. Uh, one, all of that's pretty comparable to the other models of Chromebook. One difference about this guy is it has a 14 inch screen, which is uh, a lot bigger. Most of the other ones are like 11.6. It does have the same resolution, however, <coughs> 1366 by 768. Uh, one other slight difference I would say with the other models is this only has 4.25 hours of battery life, but I don't really care too much about that because this is going to be our kitchen computer and will mostly be plugged in all the time. Um, most of the other Chromebook models have six hour battery life. It's one of the appeal of the Chromebooks. Also, this is about four pounds in weight, which is uh, definitely a little bit heavier than the other models. Okay, let's open it up. Let's see what we got. That's a pretty plain box. <laughs> Not much more on the other side. So let's just open it up. is empty. <coughs> Warranty information card. I guess this is some kind of user manual. Support telephone numbers, end user license agreement, warranty again, and user guide, which of course we are not going to read. Throw that aside. The last time we'll probably ever see that. All right, got some nice friendly setup instructions here. May as well open them. Blah, 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 blah. Quick setup, quick tour. That's handy, I guess. Tells you what all the different ports are, which we will go through in just a second. And some various specifications, operating temperatures and whatnot. Notice the Two finger gestures that you get with Chrome OS, kind of copied from Mac OS. I like them. By the way, I have been using the CR48 model for some time now. I quite like it. I have not used any other models. Uh, this is the controversial 4 hour battery. Controversial because one of the reasons people buy Chromebooks is for extra long battery life, which this isn't.
Do not eat the silica gel. Alright. Let's have a quick little tour around here. Battery pack goes in the back, obviously. What have we got here? Headphone jack, USB port. Comes with three USB 2 ports. It does not come with any USB 3. Which I know some people weren't entirely happy about, but I don't really understand the big deal about USB 3 on a cloud device. Here are the other two USB ports. Uh, it does have an HDMI port, which is highly desirable. It does have an Ethernet port and power. And this is an SD card slot. I believe it's only SD, nothing else. Let's see how we get this battery in here. Painless. <coughs> Pretty decent power supply. I do not know if this is sort of a standard HP supply. I took a wild guess. I think it probably is. Standard power cord. Okay, let's have a look inside here. <coughs> that is a big screen by Chromebook standards. Let's pull off this little protective sheath here. Let's take a look at the keyboard. Keyboard. So, you will notice it does have the Chrome OS keys up here, although they are rather small and they're not well spaced out. I think this is basically a bit like the Acer C7 in that it's a reused Windows keyboard. As you'll notice, like there's an F11, F12, which don't do anything. Um, it does have the controversial caps lock, which I personally think is unnecessary and don't really like, but that's another debate for another day. I know one thing people like are these Alltech speakers, Alltech Lensing. Supposedly a very good quality sound out of this guy, which I'm looking forward to because the sound out of the CR48 is pretty bad. There is a dedicated search key, but it's pretty small. And um, got the usual blue function key. Notice the uh, trackpad is not actually that big, if you can see the size of my finger. <coughs> uh, certainly smaller than the Samsung models, which I think is unfortunate. Uh, it does have a dedicated left and right button, which I know Chrome OS purists won't like, and I'm one of them. But it is what it is. Uh, let's get a connect to our wireless here. Yeah, let's block the camera while we type a password. Alright, so we are connecting to our network, the boys. Yeah, that looks like that worked. We'll continue with my dedicated left mouse button. Blah, 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 automatically send that, sure will do. Oh, yeah, I need to log in with my email. Okay, choose a picture to display. This is my profile picture from Google, so let's just use that. By the way, you probably I don't think you saw the trackpad there, but I was just tapping on it for the left mouse button. I was not using the dedicated left mouse button, so certainly the standard Chrome OS tapping works. Also, this is oops. Oh, now it's installing all of my extensions and my. Uh, bookmarks and everything. So this is going to take a second. 
and I'm sure it's going to download a system update too, probably. Here's my iGoogle homepage. So, right, right now I am doing the dedicated, sorry, the Chrome OS two finger scroll up and down. Seems to be working pretty well. Certainly, it's pretty fast. Let's go to uh, got the usual Chrome OS settings. There's the version 23.0.1271.92. But of course now it's automatically updating as Chrome OS does. Um, not a whole lot else to show right now. I will run some benchmarks on this and I will post them to the YouTube description. And otherwise that's about it for now. Please excuse the quality of the video and my poor narration, but like I said, instead of bashing it, do a better one, and then I'll allow you to bash it. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.